Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an Amazon Prime delivery van slash delivery truck. This is the amount of space required to make your build. Feel free to make this grid in your world if you do feel as though it will help you out. And here are all of the materials that we will use throughout the build. Please make sure that you have access to all of those materials. We'll begin by coming to any one of the four corners of the grid, if you've made it. From these corners, we want to count inwards by one, it really doesn't matter which one you choose, and place a black concrete. Behind that black concrete, along the length of the grid, we want to place four deep slate slabs. One, two, three, four. Then another black concrete, deep slate slab, extend across by two, one, two, and then copy on this side what you did the previous side. So a black concrete, four slabs, followed by a black concrete. Finish up by placing another slab, extend it across, and then fill the middle of the basin using your slabs. Place stone buttons on the outer parts of all of the black concretes like this. And now it's time for us to make a decision. Which side's the front, which side is the back. So I'm going to make this side my front and I'm going to place a blast furnace in the center of the front of the vehicle, gray concrete either side, an entire row of gray concrete behind, and then extend backwards by one, two rows, one, two rows either side, polished diorite stairs facing forwards in this little center gap, and then join the gray concrete together just at the back here, what we then want to do is place a row of grey concrete on top of this, extending upwards, and then another one on top, extend forwards by one row, like this, and then place glass joining back down to the frame, extend the glass forwards row and just connect it forwards in front of itself. Grey carpet on top of the glass, and also a grey carpet either on top of the blast furnace itself or also just on the sides like this. Then we're going to throw a couple of item frames just in the front two corners of the vehicle with a white stained glass pane inside the item frames. Now we're going to extend the sides of the grey concrete walls backwards like this on top of the frame, on both the left and right sides. Fill the top of the van in using grey concrete as well. On the back of the vehicle, we want to place a couple of item frames, just one on each one of the back corners. And then, I do believe that we are okay to grab the next set of materials, which is going to include red shulker boxes, tripwire hooks, acacia buttons, oak signs, brown shulker boxes, a door, and then everything else is banner materials. So, whilst we're back here, red shulker boxes are going to be placed inside the item frames. Brown shulker boxes are going to look like packages. We're going to seal it up with an iron door, but you can still see the brown in there. On the back of the vehicle, I'm simply going to give it a number plate. I'm just going to pr uh, put Prime 1 in there, but if you wanted to, you could uh, use something else if you can come up with something a bit more clever. And I'll do the same on the front as well. I'll just put Prime 1. <laughs> Throw that out as well, I guess. Come back. Then we are going to place acacia buttons on the sides of the headlights on the left and right side of the vehicle. And then leaving a gap of one behind that, tripwire hooks to look like door handles, like this. And then we're kind of at the point where we just have to make these signs. So, the funnest part of the tutorial, to some, we're going to grab looms, grey banner, grey dye, white dye, cyan dye. Throw the loom down, open it up. First, we're going to just write prime on the side of the van. So that's going to require a, a, just a bunch of white dye. First of all, the letter P. Vertical row of P on the right side of the banner. Grey dye in there, 
Make the lower half of the banner grey, throw the grey out, white in, horizontal row of white straight through the middle, vertical on the left, horizontal across the top, that is P. Next is R, horizontal row across the top, vertical on the left, diagonal, top left corner to bottom right corner. Next is I, that is a vertical row of white straight through the banner. Next is M, a bit more complex, we need the uh, triangle at the top of the banner. Place a grey die in there. We need the teeth at the top of the banner. Throw the grey out, put white in, and then a vertical row on the left and right sides, M. Next up, we need E, so that's a vertical row on the left, and then a horizontal through every single plane of the banner. So that is prime. Now, we are going to just store this away for a sec, and we have to make another banner. So this is kind of like the little arrow, the swoosh as I would call it. So this is a grey banner with cyan dye and we want a horizontal row of cyan straight through the middle. By the way, we're going to use multiples of all of these banners, so you may just have to remake these as you need it. So for one side of the van, one set of prime will be fine, you'll need two of these banners and then you'll need one of this last banner, which is going to be, we want to make the top I mean, you guys can see the pattern. It's like a diagonal row of cyan on the upper right-hand side of the banner. We want to grab that, put that back in. Then a horizontal row of cyan straight through the middle. And this is what we need for just for one side, except for the fact that, as I say, uh, you'll need two of these horizontal cyans. So on each side of the van, we start from the top left corner. P, R, I, M, E. And then underneath the E, we want to place this, the little swoosh, and then left of it, two of the horizontals. So there we go, prime van. And I'm gonna do this on the opposite side. However, we start on the opposite side on the opposite side, if that makes sense. So P, R, I, M, E, and then swoosh, horizontal, horizontal, boom, perfect. And that's your truck. Now, let's say that you wanted a different style of van. You are able to, if you wanted to, this is completely up to you, depending upon the situation. We can place a lever back here, crack open the back of the van, and then out of the back of the van, we could place a shulker box on the ground. Preferably, not flip it open and destroy the van. It'd be really cool if we didn't do that. And I think that that looks really cool. Of course, we can have different parcel types. We can use chests, we can use barrels, we can use the shulk boxes as we like. We can even do a couple of them if we did so choose, or even a bunch of them. And personally, I think it looks pretty cool if the van is actually like pulled up outside of a house like this and there's a bunch of parcels ready to deliver. And if you even wanted to, you could even stick a little chest or a shulker box in front of somebody's door on the porch and that kind of like even adds to it if you'd like. Now that's it everybody, I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial, if you have please do remember to subscribe to the channel, click that little bell next to the subscription button that will ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else in Stream City, check out the description below and even the comment system for the City Builds playlist. You won't be disappointed with the selection of cool stuff that we have in there. Also, if you have any interest in playing in Stream City, channel members are provided with a brand new download link every single time Stream City is updated. So you'd be able to find that in the community tab if you were a channel member. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.